Hey there, everyone. Let's do another new build home tour here in Colorado Springs. This is a home that's built by Aspen View Homes located in the trails at Aspen Ridge. A lot of Aspen's going on there. And we're gonna go toward the ash floor plan. That's A-S-H, like the tree. Or my favorite character in Evil Dead. So, in front yard landscaping is included. Stack stone is standard. We have an aluminum door. That's an eight foot high header. That means that lifted pickup fits right in there. All right. Little office area here, perhaps great for, you know, a small little um, daycare setup or your pet's favorite little spot in the house with a dog bed and an easy chair. But it also has this cool feature called a pocket office. So they put this barn door on there put in quartz countertops, the same quality cabinets they put in the kitchen, a nice light, a window, lots of outlets. If you work from home and you want a little bit of privacy, that's a great spot. According to the builder rep, this is their most popular floor plan. I can see why, because I see a great little spot right here with that wall over there that I'm pointing at over there. That's about a three and a half foot return. That just means corner. And you could put in a nice little uh, cubby style setup for, you know, backpacks, coats, shoes. There's an extra deep coat closet here. So plenty of space for vacuum cleaners and larger items that you might store that you want really close to your front entrance. There's also a really deep, what I would call Costco style pantry where you can get the entire run stuffed into there. That leads to upstairs, which we'll get to in a minute. This leads to the basement, which we will also get to in a minute. And then directly behind me is the kitchen. Get some lights in on this really nicely appointed kitchen. Stand back here and get a nice view of it. Recessed lighting. There's another pantry through there. Sink on the island, gas range, dishwasher, over the range micro hood, quartz countertops. And then in here, it's almost a butler's pantry or a barista pantry. They've got so many names for them these days, but you get cabinets to kind of keep stuff out of the way but then you can store even more food items in here. And then you've got the outlets so you can plug your coffee maker in there. If you're one of those people that doesn't like a lot of clutter on your kitchen counters, that style pantry makes a lot of sense. It's a decent sized room and it's really open feeling considering that right through that hallway down there is the main door. Big picture windows out here, particularly in this address, Nice view of the front range today. We have a nice bonus room right here that's set up as a bedroom. I'll back up into this corner here. You can see a closet, its own door, and a window. So it qualifies as a bedroom. Nice deep closet. So I'm thinking guests can go in here. I'm thinking multi-generational setups can go in here. And the builder chose to capitalize on that multi-generational sentiment with putting in a shower. That way people who have trouble getting in and out of a bathtub can use the shower with ease. They put in a little cubby over here with hooks. That's a cold air return down there. Again, their standard size garage. Again, the builder rep tells me that he can fit his three quarter ton short bed pickup in here. Coat closet. It's always helpful to have a coat closet at the two uh, entrance points to your home from the garage where the homeowner typically uses and then the front door where your guest might. Let's go check out the basement. Resuming our tour in the basement. That 
access point would be for a sump pit. Uh, depending on your engineer's soil report, a sump pit may be required. It's not a hobbit door, it just happens to be a storage space that the builder um, put a vapor barrier in because they didn't put a full-size basement in. You know, concrete is the most expensive thing price per square foot wise in a home after the countertops. So anywhere they can save on it, it makes sense for them. Pretty decent sized family room in the basement here. That's some under stair storage. Get a look at that. You can see the angled ceiling. Another closet. So obviously they put the closet in the family room because when kids make a mess, we all know that they pick up their stuff and put it away. This is a garden level finish, meaning there isn't an egress or a sliding door coming out of the basement, but you get this natural daylight that comes in that really helps to illuminate a room and not make it feel like a cave. Here's the bathroom, tiled surround, the same matching floor from upstairs, the same matching cabinets. It's a Formica countertop, but we'll give them a pass on that. Let's talk energy efficiency for a moment. Tankless water heater with an expansion tank, along with a high efficiency furnace. Let's check out those stats. There we go. And here's the efficiency marker on this guy. I think in the last house we were at, it was about a 93% as well. PEX plumbing. That way you can turn off water to certain levels. The bathroom one more time. Bedroom in the basement. Pretty decent size room. Gone are the days of six and a half, seven foot ceilings in the basement. These are true eight footers. Nice big size closet in here. Let's go check out upstairs. All right, we're at the top of the stairs in the ash floor plan. Again, A S H. Little California claw, or pardon me, California loft style dugout here. So you get a small little four foot desk in here. Pretty decent sized bedroom up here. Back up in the corner here. There's that closet. This bedroom faces the street. Get a look at that closet there. That's a two foot deep configuration. It's about six feet wide. Decent size loft up here. Showing you the carpet. Press on ceiling lights. The bank of switches over here, obviously to control lighting throughout here. Mechanicals, again, energy efficiency here. We have a high efficiency furnace and air conditioning is already set up and included. Here we are in bedroom number two upstairs. Back up in the corner here. Give you an idea of the size of this. That's a walk-in style closet. So let's grab a quick look at that. About five feet wide. Upstairs laundry, I'll say it again. Best thing since sliced bread. What the heck is that? Oh, that's just your attic access. And no, we don't use our attics for storage in Colorado. That's just sealed off so that the home remains conditioned with the air that you produce from your furnace but we don't bring stuff up in there. There's about 18 to 24 inches of fluffy insulation in there. Tiled surround in this bathroom. 
It's like a fiberglass tub, a hot seat, cabinets that match the rest of the house, and a brush nickel vanity, or pardon me, brush nickel light above the vanity. And then let's go check out the master. Another nice closet tucked right into this space here. It's perfect for storing extra stuff. Master is of decent size. I'm not gonna say it's the biggest master I've ever seen, but I'm gonna go with 15 by 14, 15 by 15. Let's go check out the master bath. Quartz countertops up here, matching cabinets from the kitchen, brush nickel vanity, or vanity lights, brush nickel fixtures, same matching fixtures on the tub and the shower. Shower has the same matching tile surround from the other bathrooms. toilet area, and then a decent size master closet. The shoe racks, back up over here, all over there. We just finished walking through the ash built by Aspen View Homes. That's A-S-H, like the tree. So this home is 3196 total square feet. It is a five bedroom home, four baths, two car garage. Currently, the price on this home is five eight seven eight twenty three or five hundred eighty seven thousand two hundred eighty three dollars. It's located on the south end of Colorado Springs, just about five minutes south of the Colorado Springs Airport. The home is located on a pretty decent sized lot, about fifty five hundred square feet. But let's go over the positive. Let's let's get to that right away. This particular home, featuring a lot of bedrooms in just a little over three thousand square feet, means it's a really efficient design. You can pack. Uh, a lot of your belongings away in this home because of all the closet space and not feel like everything is like bulging out from the seams. The kitchen is a smart layout with those two pantries. Uh, I like the fact that the garage entrance and the main entrance are kind of like spread out from each other rather than I walked into some homes, especially from the 90s design where you'd walk along the garage to get to your main door, open up your main door, and then you'd bang into the door from the garage as someone else was coming in. That's really annoying, but that doesn't exist here in this floor plan. Probably the smartest innovation on this floor plan is the pocket office. The fact that you can literally disappear while you're working from home and have a lot of great storage space. You can have space for your printer, for charging all your devices, your laptop, etc. And then let's not forget that main level bedroom that also has the attached three quarter bath. So you have that shower that's accessible for a lot of people that may have difficulty getting in and out of a bathtub. I think there's a lot to like here. And if you don't wanna live on the south end of Colorado Springs, there are neighborhoods that Aspen View Homes are building in that can possibly accommodate where you work and want to live. Thank you so much for enjoying this tour with me and what I consider to be a really smart floor plan by Aspen View Homes. I look forward to seeing you on the next new build tour.